Y'all see it? Y'all see it? <laughs> Y'all, we finally got the stickers in the tag. If the stickers, trailer tag, truck tag, uh-huh. Been riding around with these decals for a minute now. We're going to put that on the truck. We're going to do all this at once. Yes, yes, and yes. It's a beautiful thing, y'all. I told you it was a beautiful thing. What's going on, my good people? How y'all doing? I hope all is well. Y'all, today is a good day. I feel like a million bucks. Do you hear me? Y'all, I finally got everything that I need. Now I'm good to go. Now, well, I got one more thing. One more thing. Okay, but it's going to go by so quick. I'm going to handle it next week. Um, I'll tell y'all what that is a little later in the video. But right now, y'all, I got what I need. I had to go through a lot of hoops to get it. Let me remind y'all again, if you're heading in the direction of getting your own truck and authority, make sure, make sure you have all your taxes filed. Now, they didn't ask me for 2021, but they did ask me for 2020. So, yeah. I won't do that again either because, you know... I sent that paperwork to my CPA, and I got charged, you know, for filing both of them at the same time. So that's extra money, right, on top of what you already got to pay back. Um, I ain't complaining, though, y'all. When I tell y'all I ain't complaining about none of this stuff, the whole process, all the money that I done put into this stuff, I am not complaining about not one bit of it because let me tell you, when I get out there and get the rolling, it's going to be all good. I, I just know it is. I just know it. It has to be. It has to be. You know, and I'm not even going to. Mm, I'm speechless. I'm just speechless. All I can say is, y'all, if, if you're watching this, this is your first time coming across the channel, right? And you don't even have a CDL. I, I urge you. I encourage you to go get it. To go get it and like stick with it and be patient and make moves that are good for you within this whole thing it's so many avenues that you can take with this yeah y'all got everything after i got that situated i got an email a guy sent me basically a route uh it's about 230 miles and i'm not sure if it's legit probably is i'm gonna look it all up though so he's asking me for my rate and something else oh my dot number so y'all let me know in the comment section below what would y'all charge somebody who you know uh well for 230 miles what would your rate be let me know that in the comment section below everybody uh runs their truck different at a different price at a different rate for a lot of different reasons i understand that but i want to know what y'all would say for 230 miles yeah let me know in the comment section so this other thing i got going on is um i need a part for my truck because i failed my dot inspection well i guess sort of kind of i don't know he didn't write it up he just said i can void it and then you fix it and come back and then we'll do it again so that was a good thing um he didn't charge me anything for doing that so he basically told me what was wrong with the truck i got a part that's missing and then i got a light uh that i, I need to get fixed so yeah the part though the part is on back order have been for a while and so i got this other guy who said he can make the part which i think he's really just gonna get it off one of the trucks that's sitting on his lot they look like some of the trucks look like they run a lot of them don't look like they run i'm not really quite sure uh but i need that part so he said he's gonna charge me like 250 dollars oh. I really wish I could find that part somewhere else. I'm still looking. I'm going to be looking all weekend. But um, I ain't going to look too much. Uh, come next week, somebody going to have that part on my truck so I can go get my uh, DOT inspection done. Okay. And I'll be on my merry little, little way. On another note, I wanted to welcome my new subscribers. I appreciate y'all for subscribing to the channel. Uh, for those of you who've been here, welcome back. I appreciate y'all too. Y'all know I do. Uh if you're just now getting on the channel, if you know, feel free to leave comments down below. I won't bite. Okay, you can say hello. You can tell me where you're from. You can leave an emoji. You know, whatever you're feeling, you can leave it down below. Hit the thumbs up button to anybody watching the channel. If you just want to support me, like the channel, you know, whatever, like the video. I meant to say. 
So aside from trucking, y'all, you know, it's a lot of companies out here, y'all, that are just trying to rip people off left and right. It just don't make no sense. Uh, a lot of stuff be going up and don't even need to go up. Like, you ain't spending nothing different. Like, like what you got going on, it, it doesn't cause for a, an increase, if that makes sense. So, y'all yeah, know, I put my stuff in storage years ago. Um, I probably ain't been back up there since I put the stuff in storage. But anyway, I pay attention to my bill. So, I probably done went up on it a couple times since I put my stuff in there. All right, but it's really been like, y'all know anytime somebody go up on your bill, it be like a steady climb. Uh-uh, not these people. They did like a jump. They didn't steady climb. They jumped so high to a point where I said, yeah, okay, this this it for me. So now I'm going to finally get this stuff out of storage. I hate moving. If anybody done move before, y'all already know how that is. So I got to get this stuff out of storage. And, uh, yeah. I'm a downsize though. I'm pretty much gonna probably give away a majority of that stuff or sell it for a little or nothing and just keep a few things that I want. But other than that, something else on the list that I gotta do up out of nowhere, you know? So I don't get it though. I, I really don't get it. I guess everybody after that green dollar though. The green dollar, everybody is after it. By any means necessary. Unfortunately, y'all. Unfortunately, it shouldn't be like that. It should help people in the time of need. I think I was watching. I don't think I was watching. I was watching a, a video last night. I think the guy channel is called the Tech Show or something like that. First time coming across his channel, but he was talking about how of uh, the government, the man, the man is talking about these companies are supposed to be doing more drilling in order for the fuel prices to go down but they're not doing that so they seem to think they're not doing that in order for them to continue to profit from you know the fuel like they're making all kind of money right now so now nah, they're not trying to do anything to make the, the prices drop or anything like that i just got fuel put fuel in my car for 359 i think it was so i think some stores do right a lot of them they don't and i keep that in mind uh but anyway just a whole lot of step on your head and I want all your money type of deal going on. Y'all know what? I just thought about it. It just came to my head. And it, like I said, I'm not talking about trucking no more. We're done with the trucking conversation for right now. But, you know, in this video. But I just thought about something. You know, I'm pretty sure I thought about it before. But that same thing is robbery. That's, that's the same thing as, you know, what these other people do in the street. Robbing you. They just do it right there in your face. But then again, with some stuff, you got a choice. So I don't know. I, can't, I guess I can't say that. Yeah. With the fuel, though, we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. We need to put fuel in the car. So, yeah, there need to be repercussions for that, for them people doing this stuff. You know, I'm just thinking. Y'all, be. Oh, I'm always in my head. I'm talking about always in my head. So anyway, y'all, that's a conversation for another day. Uh, I hope y'all are driving safe. Hope you're having a good day. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.